one of the low-hanging fruits of technology, especially for established companies, is to understand how technology can help you improve your current operations. I could use technology, for example, to lower my costs. I could use technology to improve my quality. I could use it to lower my risks, or I could use it to increase my speed, which, uh, for example, in the world of e-commerce, has become a very important competitive criteria. Now, if we were to continue with speed as an objective, it's important to understand that technology cannot solve your problem unless you have a holistic, system-wide view of your operations. If speed is your criteria, then identifying the bottleneck. Understanding how technology can help the bottleneck become faster is critical in improving the speed of the system. Using technology for resources which are not the bottleneck may give you other benefits like cost or quality, but will not give you speed because the speed of the system is constrained by the speed of the bottleneck. However, let's say you are able to double the speed of the bottleneck. That doesn't mean that your system will now work at twice the speed. All you did was you alleviated that particular resource from being the bottleneck, but shifted the bottleneck to the next constraining resource. So the gains of speed that you will get are simply constrained by the next bottleneck uh, resource and not the original one. And that's the only gain that you got. So what returns you're going to get from technology actually requires you to have a holistic view of the entire system to understand what you're trying to achieve with that system, identify how you can achieve it by using technology, and only then will you get the intended gains.